Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nut Shell Report, or is it a Nuts Hell Report? My name is Ian J. Peterson, I'm blind and I'm your host. On today's episode, I want to talk to you about the global warming situation, all the climate crisis we have all around now. I know there's people out there sitting in their big SUVs having the air condition on and saying there's nothing wrong with the climate. But for those people, yes, there is. And you're a part of this. How comes that we see all the wildfires now? Of course, back in the days when I grew up in my neighborhood in, in Germany, um, we had a few wildfires here and there caused by maybe a, a, a smashed bottle left behind and, and just the, the, the bottle would um, ignite some fire or somebody drops a cigarette and, and it would ignite the fire eventually. But nowadays all the wildfires or most of the wildfires are starting is just because of all the drought we have in the areas because there's not enough rain. The forests can't get enough water out of the soil anymore because more and more of the ground water is pumped away either illegally or legally and used for whatever irrigation of, of, of farmlands or for your gardens or to fill up your pools. I have no clue. So the forest can't get enough water anymore because a, a healthy forest doesn't burn that easy. It is just when it's too dry and all the, the, the scrubs and, and the, 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 the bushes are getting dry. And this is like a tinderbox. So we have, due to the raising heat or the raising temperatures we have and those heat wave summers. Do you realize that, in, I don't know in which area you live, let me know guys in, in comments or in, in, in an email. Um, that the summers are getting only hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and so our planet is suffering so areas drying out areas getting deserted um, rivers are drying out big big rivers are drying out that the most uh, most of them are not even used for, for shipping anymore because you can't put big boats through it or you have to fill up the boats um, only with half of the capacity capacity or less to bring them down there so one side of our planet is drying out and burning. The other side is flooded. All the water comes down there. Areas getting three, four times more water in a day than they would get during the whole season. So those areas are washing away. Washing away houses, villages are destroyed. People have to run either from fire, because the house is on, on fire and the they need shelter or people are running from the water but there is no balance anymore in this planet and it's only getting worse the other things are tornadoes or big storms hurricanes whatever you you you're gonna name it in your area um, you see those big storms going through areas blowing houses away destroying cities and and, and farmlands so those storms are getting bigger and bigger and, and there are storms and tornadoes are coming through areas which, which there were never ever storms before. So the whole climate affects the whole planet. So I think it's a warning shot here of our planet, of Mother Earth, saying, guys, I'm showing you for generations now that you have to stop the pollution. You have to filter all the shit you're blowing into the air. You know, you have to cut back on plastic. You, I think we are the filthiest creatures on the planet. I never have seen animals leaving shit behind on the street. Okay, maybe a dump if you're a dog, okay? But this will biodegrade very fast and it's gone, you know? We're leaving plastic bottles behind or beer cans or God knows what people leave behind on the, on, on the beaches or the rivers, river banks. So we are really filthy animals. You know, when you go somewhere, and you have a little barbecue with friends or you have a little drink at the beach or you wherever you are out in the forest in the mountains bring your stuff and bring it back when my wife and i go for a little hike here in the countryside we always bring an empty bag for us because we don't bring much we just bring a sandwich i mean how much food do you need when you go for a hike right so we always bring a, an empty 50 liter garbage bag with us and every garbage we see we fucking bend over pick it up throw it in the bag and clean it up and then at the next possible place we can just throw it in a bin in a proper bin where it's going to be recycled so don't leave your stuff behind because you leave your stuff behind because you think oh this is a wonderful place to have a picnic this is a wonderful place to hang out for a while then you leave it absolute bombshell and the next one is coming to, oh, it's dirty here. Let's go further into nature and do the same shit again. You know, so we can't do this to the planet. Now it's the time to listen to Mother Nature and saying, okay, we 
We overdid it. We partied so hard on this planet that we almost destroyed it. And it's it's only going down, all right? So try, for example, I stopped having warm showers. I only take cold showers for about six months or longer. I only shower cold, I wash my hair cold, and I don't use warm water anymore. Also, when you wash your laundry, you don't have to wash it on 30, 40, 50, 60 degrees Celsius, whatever you do. You can wash it just in cold water. The um, products, the, the, the good products normally to, to wash your laundry now, they're absolutely capable to get all your clothes clean without having to use extra energy to warm up the water. The same here, now we are having um, an energy efficient dishwasher where we just wash the, the dishes. If you have the chance and you have a dishwasher, use it, fill it up good, not just turn it up with, um, turn it on with two pots and pans, fill it up and it also will help to save water and energy. When you go out to the beach and anywhere you go and you see some litter, when you walk through the city, I, don't, I know some cities are very dirty. If you would just pick up litter, it would be a full-time job. But if you go to an area and you see something, just pick it up and throw it out. I know it's not your garbage. It's not my garbage I'm picking it up. But if everybody does a little bit, we can help tremendously to this planet. Also here it's a warm it's a warm island okay so we don't have air condition and we will never have air condition because i think it's just an absolute uh, pollution we have two little fans which we have on the floor they're very short on the floor they're like kind of on a v-band and um, we bring it i have one for myself so if i work in in the office i bring my fan if patricia is somewhere else my wife is somewhere else in the house she brings it just to the area where we are just to cool it down a bit to make it more comfortable for us because we don't want to sit sweating while we're doing our jobs, right? But that's all you need. You don't have to air condition the whole place or you don't have to have the, the fans on in the whole place, just in the room where you're at. Okay, I understand if you maybe live somewhere in the desert or you live somewhere taxed in Arizona, I don't know, but it's very hot. You might as well have to figure out other things or look into new technologies. But please, please, please think about it. You know, don't leave the lights on in the rooms when you're not in the room. Don't leave the TV on if you're not even watching it. Just if we all cut back a little bit or a lot if we can. I mean, try out the cold shower. It's good for your, for your immune system. It's good for your health, you know. Try it out. It's um, really a process to do it. It took me also a while to get used to it, but now I don't like warm showers anymore. Try it out. It, it will help. And if we all stick together and if we all kick our government's asses too and saying we have to cut down on on coal energy or dirty energy we have to build more um, solar panels so we have to build more um, wind turbines or whatever um, on renewable energy source works in your area just do it don't go to the climate conferences don't go to g7 or wherever you go and pledging and pledging and pledging we do it uh, yeah 2040 we will go down by like 20 percent or 2070 we will start getting out of it then it's too fucking late we have to start now or should we should have started 40 years ago when i was a kid when i was eight years old i was starting protesting against pollution and global warming because the scientists, the scientists saw it coming. You know, when you watch those cat catastrophe mu uh, movies, and in the beginning is always the scientists warning the government that some major epic event will happen and they have to act now. And then the politicians going into their little debate rooms and debating it until it, the, the problem is so debated that nobody knows anymore what they're talking about. They go home and they think they had a perfect meeting and nothing is accomplished. Please, guys tell your politicians to or protest a little bit or put some banners up somewhere whatever you're allowed to do legally okay i don't want to um, cause a riot here um, just do what you can raise awareness for it because we only have one planet we live on we can't order a new planet on amazon guys okay so if we fuck up this planet we're all fucked up all right so that was it for this season guys think about what i said contact me the email address is theblindspot1667 at gmail.com. I have my link tree below. I have the link for buy me a coffee below. If you want to buy me a coffee or a bottle of bourbon, guys, please do so. Write me a note on the platform on buy me a coffee. I will answer all the, the donations. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.